Welcome to Minecraft Maker. This is Theron, and uh, I'm out here at this thing today that probably most of you know what this is. Um, built a, or I'm building a mob farm. Uh, I'm building it based on Ethos' uh, sort of practical mob system. Uh, I know it's relatively low yield, but uh, I'm building it anyway. So uh, I, I'm out here. Um, I've got bigger plans that you'll see more of. I'm out here about uh, 200 and some, almost 300 blocks out away from land on a bridge that I built. Uh, and we come over here. I have some, you know, temporary stuff. But then I, I built this little area here. The uh, the mob farm is uh, up, up there. And the, the beasties drop down here onto these hoppers like that and uh here they are and here's what i've gotten so far so it's not super high yield uh i have oh i thought i had them sorted but no i guess it's uh, i'm getting more zombies than than other things anyway so it's down here um the bridge continues i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do <sighs> probably will extend it a ways i want to see what's out this way because as i came out out this far there's uh there's land out here and that's a little island but this is actually land and it kind of continues back here uh, we're just a little too far away to see um, I, I picked this spot because it should be far enough away that nothing else can spawn nearby there might be some caves down below yeah, but I, I don't know um, but we should be pretty good I've got things lit up down here reasonably well and uh, the beastie suit do drop um, Standing down here doesn't seem to be quite right. So what I'm building up here is I'm going to build a little base station. Oh, uh, kind of a command post. Yeah, keep coming, guys. So I'm hoping that um, occasionally I'll get zombies that carry rare drops like iron. Um, yeah, <laughs> and witches because I, I need some uh, I need glowstone. But so far it doesn't look like we've gotten any. It's it's mostly been the zombies and uh, and skeletons and creepers. That's okay. Um, I shall venture to put this gunpowder to good use. Okay. Um, and I, and as I said, I think by building a, a, a sort of command post up here, I can then branch out to the stuff around here and start exploring um, this sort of stuff farther away from, from the little continent that I'm used to. And hopefully I find some different biomes. It'd be nice to find a desert. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully I find some other stuff. So I'm building... Oh, you can hear him in there. Yeah. All right. Obviously, non-optimal conditions in terms of lighting. This is on purpose. Uh, as I was working on this and trying to... This is level three. And as I said, it's the Etho design. So it's basically uh, a bunch of pads with water going and flowing them into a center point, which drops them down far enough that it kills them. Um, I put up torches in here just to kind of show you my thoughts on building an observation platform because I was really curious what was going on inside and if you notice if I come here and oops, pick that guy up and knock out the torches um, it gets pretty dark back here so I've I've built this little entrance to the platform such that it's a light trap And we go do this side. Um, is it the end of it? Is there one more right there? Come on. And see, it gets dark back here. Like dark that you can't see what's going on. So um, my thought was build a platform with uh, glass walls and enclosed so that it's dark and you can't see in there till you walk in and start placing torches and then you can come in and actually see what's going on inside the, the spawning platform so back here now you can't see it's dark enough and their stuff can spawn 
and uh, I this this hallway needs to be left dark this is 15 blocks away from the wall there so if I knock out all the light sources in here and this is the the farthest uh, the closest point to which I put any light then by the time it gets here because the light falls off one unit per meter it's not a um, <laughs> there's no inverse uh, inverse squares law going on here uh, it, by the time you get up to the windows there it would be impossible to see uh, it would be completely dark uh, this access hatch up to the roof here um, I am going to use as a temporary place for building another level also with a uh, viewing platform I think I've already got the platform built in so I may as well uh, however I will close this off and this stair this ladder way here which is my main way up and down um, I will it's temporary and I'm going to relocate it oops ouch oh that hurt I guess I accidentally jumped off I'm gonna relocate it along with this stuff up to my uh, command post which is gonna be up here about 25 the closest side of it will be 25 blocks from the spawner so that when I'm in there stuff will spawn and then uh, my plan is to take all the stuff coming out of this chest and automatically feed it up there so I can just pick it up I don't need to come down here and to get up there I poured these cobblestone pillars I thought the top walkway was the same width as this one obviously it is not uh, so, but that's fine. So um, I'll build a little. I'm going to take out this block and uh, and then do this. Build a little platform out over to it, and then um, probably put this in here, and then put ladders up here. So I need to go get a bunch of ladders, and that'll be my primary. Uh, that'll be my conveyance up to the the command post um, and uh, yeah so that's I think how this is gonna all work just wanted to show you what was going on I am getting stuff not a not a ton um, but and not stuff that I can't get elsewhere uh, I'm also interested in and may actually build above it once I build up five layers I may build a gold farm above it. Uh, I think that will work, and I think I'll have enough room up there to do it. It won't be a large gold farm, but I realize that I've been saying, oh, I don't really use gold. Oh, hello, Mr. Skeleton. Give me your arrows. Um, even though I, I said I don't need gold, well, yes, actually, I do, because it's a pain in the butt walking out these 300 blocks. I'll tell you that. And uh, it'd be nice to ride out, not have to uh, be constantly sort of sprinting so this ladder way will come down of course and uh, get moved over to here which I need to do and then this will also let me get down to the bottom which I need to go down and light that up actually so let's go do that now so when I pour the concrete um, when I pour the cobblestone pillar of course um, I get lots of extra cobblestone here, which is fine. Um, but it it creates a little stone platform for me, which is kind of cool. And oh, just one short. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, so anyway, I need to uh, clean these up, get these lit, so I don't get stuff spawning down here, because that's really not. Oops, I don't need to be using that pick, do I? Let's switch to this guy. Um, so yeah and I noticed when I do the pouring the way I've been doing it where I pour the um, pour the lava first and let the lava come down and form this uh, base and then I pour the water down it doesn't actually pour right at the the base of each of the uh, streams so the lava you know spreads out like I showed in the uh, my little let's do science video the lava spreads out so you get three non-source lava blocks and um, 
and uh, and you can which you can yeah um, what am I trying to say they're not there's actually four that comes down from so from the lava source block there's there's one that comes straight down from the from the, the source block and then it spreads out and there's three others and what I've been doing is turning those three others into um, into cobblestone and it creates a little half uh, Hmm. Oh, it's raining. Okay. Um, it creates a little half uh, circular pillar, I guess. I don't know. It's three. It's in a triangle. And it's convenient. Hey, buddy. Oh, my dog's sitting at my feet trying to figure out how to get in my lap okay so it's probably overkill on the lighting but you know what I'd rather it be too much than not enough torches are easy now so finish up these guys and I didn't bring any ladders with me so that's okay we take a swim I have another one over here. Um, let's go up. This will get me back up to the main bridge. So it'd be nice to, uh, yeah. Whoa, hello. Ah. Oh, look what I got. I got some glowstone dust. Yes. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, so obviously, oh shoot, that's right. Witches need a little bit more distance to fall to be sure to die. Hmm, what am I gonna do about that? All right, I'll figure it out. My my thought was to enclose this in a glass tube, such that if I did get any witches in there, they I couldn't they couldn't get out. So maybe, um. I don't know. Let me think about that. I have room below the bridge to drop this. Interesting. Okay, well, I got I got some glowstone dust, which I have not been able to get out of the nether yet. Interesting. Okay, well, this is very cool. Um, that was uh, not my first witch, but uh, my first uh, glowstone dust. All the witches I've had so far have just dropped. Oh, ouch. Um, have dropped, uh, you know, uh, I, I got one potion, I've gotten potion bottles, uh, I've gotten sticks, which is completely non-useful. Um, I've gotten, what else have I gotten? Redstone, I've gotten some redstone from a witch. Be nice to have a, uh, a good witch farm so I haven't I have yet to find a witch's hut um, even though I've wandered around some there are swamp biomes nearby okay I will have to work on this um, make a landing platform up there. Now that I have that, I can get rid of the temporary one as well. Which I will work on. Nice. Okay. Very cool. So that ladder's going. Uh, let me uh, put some torches up here just to be extra safe. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, that's that. I, oh, creeper. Wow. Couple guys. Nice. Okay. I need more glowstone dust because I want to be able to make glowstone lamps. Um, oh, that was a good sound. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, we, oh, do I have any more glass? Let me just put another layer of glass on there. I have some. Should be enough, right? Oh, they're coming hot and heavy now. So I think my plan of 
Ooh, nice. I think my plan to have uh, my little base out there at a proper at a proper distance from that should keep any witches out right in and that way I can deal with them okay um, I think having a room up over that way which is I was climbing out there on the ladder put me at a proper distance to uh, to allow spawning to happen nicely and look they're coming pretty quickly now haven't maxed out on anything yet but we're getting close on the bones oh, cool Oh, we're going to max out on the zombie flush first, of course. Okay. So anyway, that's uh, that's that. I just wanted to update you on what I was doing here, and we will uh, we will uh, and we'll leave it there. So uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.